Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. We are carrying on with our Rift, 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 Rift plan. If I just bring up our materials, we've got a Greater Rift Keystone. So we can jump straight in and carry on with that. Now, of course, we are working on leveling up our legendary gems as much as possible. We're going to keep it on Torment 5. That seemed to work okay last time. We don't have much money. As soon as we get money, we're going to try and get... Uh, the swami on our face and that's going to help us in between moments of Archon goodness. In the meantime however I can remember how it is that this character plays because it's been a while since I picked up Diablo. I've been uh, doing my other recordings um, for Phantom Doctrine and Phoenix Point. Always a lot of fun if you like uh, turn-based tactical games then I highly recommend having a look at them. Man, that, uh, that extra damage reduction from Explosive Blast is so huge. I'm so glad we have that orb of infinite depths. I really am. Right. Now, of course, these guys constantly trying to hurt us. Constantly trying to beat us down. As soon as we get our Archon mode back, though, we will make everything change again. Speed, that's definitely going to help. I don't think it's actually going to be up this way, but seeing as we've started, we may as well carry on. Oh, hello you. We can at least stand in the Oculus Ring when it's around for the extra damage bonus. The, uh, the explosions actually go off a bit faster when you've got the stacks from... Oh, sorry, when you have increased attack speed. The speed panel is definitely uh, making a difference with that. Certainly it's uh, it's draining our resources a lot more. Which is fine, I mean, it's, uh, it's part of the character, but... Definitely dangerous when you rely on your resources as much as we do. Alright, well we're ready for another Archon, so... Ninety-two Archon stacks. Man, I can't wait until we are able to hold on to them after our combo finishes. Okay, this is not going terribly badly. We could probably put the difficulty up a little bit more, actually. Especially because we do have that Orb of Infinite Depth. Uh, man, our, our game changed so much last episode, just with all of our extra bits of gear that we got. Oh, this is potentially bad. I'm glad I got that Explosive Blast off when I did. All of the explosions. Archon is such a fun 
fun one to play. We do need to do the set dungeon at some point, uh, so I'll probably look into that once we've uh, got our legendary gems up. Give me all those purple orbs. Power pilot. Always happy to take a bit of an extra boost. Ow, that was quite painful. Yeah, don't wanna don't wanna be dying just for dying's sake. What have we got down this way? Pretty much wasting the power pylon. That's what we're doing at the moment. going and we should be able to take out the Rift Guardian before yeah before any troubles I have a mace and ice blink ice blink is a bunch of shizen we do not care about ice blink at all we do care about putting points into our goggle of swiftness though that is very tasty indeed all right let's head back to town we'll ID this Hooray, Sunkeeper, it is terrible. <laughs> and we'll put these points in over here. All right, well, we've got 1.2 million, so we can try it again with the Swami. Uh, now, just as a reminder, we're trying to get a socket in it. It does take quite a bit of money. There we go. We only needed one more. So we're going to get a slight increase in damage. And we're going to keep our Archon stacks for, is it 20 seconds? Twi yeah, 20 seconds after Archon expires. So this is definitely a good thing for us. And we keep our explosion. That's, that's the other important thing. It's not worth it if you don't get to keep your face explosion. Alright, put these in. I'm just going to salvage up some Keeper. Uh, we'll keep Ice Blink though. Although that's going to go down here. And Veers can go over here. Where it will sit forever. So salvage, salvage. And salvage. Okay, so with the Swami, with Fazula's Improbable Chain, the next thing is probably going to be uh, Krelm's Buff Braces, I think. Uh, let's carry it. In fact, let's put the difficulty up to Torment 5. Because we were able to run the um, Great Rift at that level. And this should be pretty comparable. Make sure we activate our buffs. And... So we're going to get 20 seconds where we get our Archon stacks, including the damage reduction, uh, including the damage increase. So at the moment, we are just like monstrously powerful while outside of Archon form. And that's going to help us transition. It's going to allow us to keep moving forwards, allow us to keep pushing. We don't get any new stacks, so we're stuck with whatever level we ended at, but it's... It's basically allowed me to reduce the amount of downtime on uh, the way Archon feels by 20%, I'd say. 20%, 30%, something like that. Ooh, hello, Channeling Parlon. Hello, Permanent Archon Mode. Right, we need to move quickly we're definitely going to get to double dip although I think it just ends up being additive uh, double dipping is where you activate two archons before the 
old Archon stacks are gone. And as you can see, I'm already building up even more stacks on top. We might even be able to triple dip, depending on how quickly it expires. No, just double dipping. But still, double dipping is awesome in this situation. Not to mention just the general uh, damage that we're going to be doing to things. with these extra Archon stacks. I mean, you really have to just keep pushing it because even our armor is doing so much extra damage at this point. And of course, there's nothing around right now, which kind of defeats the whole point of it. That's all right, though. We, we got a really good run out of it. I hadn't even thought to, to check what our face explosion might have done in that situation. So, mostly keeping our explosive blast up until Archon is ready to go again. And then as soon as it is, we reactivate it and carry on exploding at people. All those death breaths. Hundred and seventy-one stacks, holy moly. I do wonder what the uh, the most stacks that people have managed to get is. Because obviously it's, it's dependent on the number of mobs that you actually hit with Archon abilities. So it can really quickly ramp up. Right, we are out of stacks, so... Oh, I tried to teleport out of it and I got stuck on a wall. Right, let's actually not be in the middle of that. So that's just getting a little too painful for all the benefit. Right. Archon is go again. So yeah, um, having uh, a bunch of stacks to start off with, starting with 45 stacks, gives us an instant damage reduction. And the more things we attack, of course, uh, the better things get for us. Kaboom. Two greater keystones, more death breaths, and other bits and bobs. Let's go hand this in. This hat is so cool. Okay, so we found Chandotto's source. Oh no, it's the Pride Bird's Eye. It was uh, obscured, so I missaw what it was. And of course, Blackthorn's Spurs. Yeah, not so keen on Blackthorn's stuff. For those that have been watching for a very long time, you know how much of a joke Blackthorn's is. Uh, we'll keep the Fire Bird's Eye. That's uh, always going to be interesting. But, uh, yeah, not so keen on Black Thorns. In fact, let's just, let's just salvage it up. We'll pretend we didn't see it. Uh, and we'll, we'll call it what it is, a lemon. So it drops, drops, drops. I think we're going to go straight back in for another Great Rift. Uh, we can actually put the difficulty up because I'm feeling cocky. And we just have to remember that the time in between our massive Ar Archon battles, we are still very fragile.
Ah, oh, I didn't get to see any of those, pal pal. Nice. Not that we need extra power being taken away, but... Alright, we are out of Archon stacks, so... Let's try and keep our Explosive Blast up. Because that is what's really going to keep us alive. Standing in the middle of the corridor is not going to keep us alive. No siree. Jeez, we actually missed him completely with that. Give me more things to kill. Can't find them fast enough, that's what my problem is at the moment. Ooh, conduit. Lovely. I mean, while I've got the Archon stacks. Oh no, <laughs> they're gone already. While I had the Archon stacks, it does make sense to try and take advantage of them. There we go. Got our explosive blast up to help take some of the sting off things. And Archon mode is back. Let's uh, get this challenge pylon because we know how well that went last time. And of course, pushing these higher rift levels, it gets us more experience, which is going to let us level up faster. And all the benefits that go along with it. Man, look how quickly we stomp through these. And just look at the number of stacks we've got. Remember, each of those increases our base damage by 100%. And that should be multiplicative with any other bonuses that happen at the time. So, read the lightning. There's other interesting things. Right, Gogrok of Swiftness, that's getting all the points. Oh! Disappointment from the Gogrok of Swiftness. We'll hand this in. We'll ID our stuff and we will jump back in for another. Uh, in the meantime, point goes in here, point goes in here, and point goes over here. So, we got restraint. Uh, doesn't really fit with anything else that we've got. It does have a socket in it though, which is nice, but the Avarice Band is much better at the moment. Zweihander is not terrible. Vreimhardt is okay, actually. For this guy. Do I want Genzaku? No, I, th I think we'll, I, we'll keep Genzaku. Uh, Reimhardt can actually go here, ready for transmuting. Uh, this can come down over here. The Wreath of Lightning will go over this one. That can actually get unlimited ranks, so let's put it up the top. And these are both going to get salvaged up. Right. Back we go. This time we're going to go for 27. This could be painful, so fingers crossed everyone. Conduit, good start.
Right, I need to make sure I'm still killing things. While I've got these Archon stacks on. Because otherwise we're only utilising some of our potential. Right, and now we need to be very careful about how everything goes. Okay, nearly ready for another Archon. It's not going as quickly as previous ones, but I think we always knew that was going to be the case. Definitely don't want to get caught in all of the super death explosions that go on. That was quite handy. Loving the feel of this. And we are out. Boo. Okay, what do we got? We got you. Everything hurts. <laughs> That's what we have. We have a lot of very painful mobs. That's no good. I need to find something else to kill quickly. Still waiting. You know what? Let, let's do this with Archon. <laughs> it's ready to go. There's no reason not to use it. Oh, Power Parliament as well, that is going to be super overkill. And that, uh, that speed is really taking it out of us in terms of our resources. Ooh, painful, painful, painful. Not a good time for us to just stop in the middle. But we seem to be doing alright. Should be able to activate Archon in just a moment. There we go. So many stacks. Right, before we lose the stacks, Gone. Bane of the Trapped. We actually need that, so that is very handy. Uh, we're going to carry on with the Gogok of Swiftness. One, two, three, four. Uh, mostly because once it does hit rank 25, we're going to get that cooldown reduction from it, which is going to allow us to cycle back into Archon even faster. Lovely stuff. All right, once again, oh, nothing to ID. Uh, this time it's just going to be points, 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 points. Okay, well, we've got 454 blood shards, so we can actually do something worthwhile and talk to Kadala about braces. 
Don't forget, luck always changes. We are looking for Crelm's buff braces, of course. Man, there's not a great deal helping us out there. We could do one upgrade, but I'm tempted to save the death breaths at the moment for for better things like rolling sockets into stuff that we find. I mean, I could also try and get some cooldown reduction on my shoulders. Uh, let's have a look. So instead of resist all, we could get 8% cooldown reduction. Or instead of the armor, probably the resist all is going to be better to lose. Because we get a lot of intelligence, which gives us a lot of resistance. But we don't get a lot of armor. Five percent's better than nothing to start off with, but that can definitely get better. Hmm. Hmm. It's nice, but I wish that was the cooldown reduction. Oh, come on. No, it's just not going to give it to us at the moment. Okay, well, we'll have to keep trying in the future. Uh, in fact, yeah, let's, uh, let's salvage up uh, the rest of the stuff that we've got. And I think to finish, let's uh, let's do one more regular rift. Now, five percent may not seem like a, a lot, but on a hundred second cooldown, it is quite significant. And most notably, uh, because we've got that uh, 20 seconds of stacks, um, just this episode by itself, we've gained 25 seconds worth back from our downtime. So compared to where we were before, it's, it's pretty significant. Not a great time for us to get stunned, but uh, totally making it work. And of course, losing that little bit on resistance doesn't help survivability. We're not terrible with our survivability, though, so I'm not, I'm not too worried running at this level. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't push too much higher. without at least something to help us out. Not ready yet. Mm, yeah, not really much going on with mobs around here. Right in here, so we can get our explosive. Oh dear, that's gonna be painful. Oh, made out. Haha. <laughs> explosive blast, of course, is giving us a massive 20% damage reduction per stack. So it is very helpful. You know, let's let's just blow this guy up. We'll push on with the remaining stacks as we have been. We 
hello, mister. He got popped open easily enough. More things just dying but being near. Uh, it's one of the things I love about being a wizard. Things die just because you're close by. Sometimes it's because your armor decides it's going to zap them. Sometimes it's because you're exploding. In an ideal world, as a wizard, you don't actually know what has killed things. You just know that they've died. Right, let's head down this way. We're over halfway through this rift, so it's going pretty well. Hello blues, got them. Um, no death breaths that time, but I guess you can't have them all the time. Ooh. Well, there was a goblin there. Worst time to come out of Archon form when there's nothing around to kill. Liking the extra damage from these guys. No, thank you. No, thank you. Do not want touching. Oh, just dodged that one. Right. Let's uh, make this a bit easier to manage. Big thing over there, big thing over here. And we should have enough time to kill this guy. There we go. Before our stats go off. The Swami is so useful. So, so incredibly useful. Alright, let's ID our things. Put our points in. And salvage it all up. Devil Tongue, of course, not that uh, great for us. Not really that interesting. But overall, I'd say we've done quite well. Bane of the Traps we do need to put in. Uh, probably swap it over for Bane of the Powerful. But we'll wait until we've leveled it up a little bit. Because it's not really going to give us that much benefit at the moment. 15% extra damage. Great. While we're in Archon form, we've got the Time Bubble. But that's not really when we need it. And until it's getting that extra aura... Um, it's not going to be as useful as a flat damage increase from uh, from Bane of the Powerful. Um, but that is all we have time for uh, for this episode. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you are continuing to enjoy this. All of the explosion fun. Uh, if you are liking the videos, then be sure to give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 3. See you soon.